Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yue Li, and today I'm super excited to be here to share with you about myself, my personal experiences, and my passion to be a part of the Future Sales program. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the first question is my why. Why did I apply for this program in particular? Well, the University of Sydney is a highly regarded institution in the world, and it is also the only Australian university that is offering the SAMS management course. This course is meant to develop future leaders. So, in this course, not only can I learn from the best professors, the best university, I can also learn from and be inspired by the best students coming from all around the world. The industry exposure is really the highlight of this program. As students, we were given the opportunity to undertake business projects with leading international organizations, and that really prepares us to embark on our future international career. Moving on, let me tell you about how can I contribute to this program. Empathy and communication skills have been my strength. Coming from a social work background, I've learned how to become an empathetic communicator through practices and through doing professional placements. From my experience of working in real estate, I've learned that customers come to us for various reasons. They might be looking for investment opportunities. They might be doing it for the education of their children. They might be under financial pressure. So the ability to put myself into their shoes and understanding their needs is critical for success, not only in real estate, but also in the general business world. As Harvard Business Review said, Empathy is not just a soft skill, it's a hard skill that's required from the ballroom to the shop floor. So I believe that I can contribute to this community by sharing my experience of putting these skills into business practices. And I, can, I also believe that these two skill sets will be hugely valuable in the future teamwork and team project during my study. So let me now share with you my success story. In January this year, I went to a leadership camp and I did the speech regarding my passion and experience of doing mindfulness meditation. And apparently, other participants were quite interested in it, and they kept asking me questions following that. So I thought, if there's a hunger for it, why not running a workshop so, I think, so that I can impart this knowledge to all of them? So I decided to do some research, and in the following morning, I ran the workshop as a morning exercise. I share with them the historical origin of mindfulness, the current scientific evidence, and how can we go about practicing it. At the end, I finished the workshop by running a 10 minutes guided meditation practice. It wasn't easy, but it was a hugely rewarding experience. A lot of the participants came up to me and commended me for my courage, and they said they really appreciate what I did for them. So the lesson I learned is that in order to develop yourself, to develop your leadership, you really need to take that initiative, take that extra step, to step out of your comfort zone. Although it can be quite intimidating, but it always pays off in the end. In contrast, let me share with you a failure story. I learned the lesson the hard way. So a couple of months ago, I had the privilege to went to a youth leadership camp when we, where we organized activities for teenagers. One of the activities was uh, Amazing Race because I, because other commitments I've got, I did not attend the last team meeting when the team discussed this particular activity in detail. Another one of the leaders uh, promised me that she will share the meeting details with me so I can be better prepared for the amazing race. But eventually she forgot to do so. So during the amazing race, I was so confused by multiple activities happening at the same time. And I could tell that my team members were quite disappointed by the poor organization. So at the debrief, although it was hard for me to say, although I could have blamed it on the leader who forgot to tell me the meaning, I decided to take full responsibility for this mistake. And I've learned the lesson that no matter what you do, you always need to take ownership of the whole program and you always need to take full responsibility for whatever you do. So last but not least, I want to share with you my determination, determination to succeed. This year, one of my New Year resolutions was to read, continue, continue to read books to educate myself. Although English was, is my third language and I've always been a slow reader, I've managed to read, read, read 
over 20 books in this year covering a wide range of topics. Last year for a period of time I was living off my parents money but now standing here I've completed a qualification. I've been working as a professional interpreter. I've been working at course despite many times of application failures. And I've also been working in the real estate sector to get some real world hands-on business experiences. So I believe that I will definitely apply the same determination, the same skill set, the same willpower into the same program and succeed academically. And that's all about me. Thank you for watching. I look forward to hearing from you.